The most beautiful experience we can have is the mysterious. It's the fundamental emotion that stands at the cradle of true art and true science, said Albert Einstein. Chengdu, the capital of Sichuan province in western China, is most famous for being the home of pandas and spicy food, but it's also a city that dates back over 3,000 years. In a 2001 excavation spreading over 5 kilometers on the east side of Chengdu, remnants were dug up believed to have belonged to the ancient Shu Kingdom dating between the 12th century BC and 7th century BC. It's one of the most bountiful excavations of jade gold and ivory in the world from this time period, and it's brewing with all kinds of unanswered questions. Some even believe it was part of an alien civilization. So today, let's uncover this mystery together. Welcome to the Jinsha Site Museum. I was very quickly astonished at the uniqueness of the different artifacts here. There are countless eye-catching rings, weapons, and statuettes. This place is full of sights that wow you, but the gold mass definitely tops them all. Here, right here, is where the famous gold mask was excavated. Placing your eyes on it gives you this grand sense of curiosity and wonder. It doesn't seem real, like someone must have made it up. It seems way too much like it was out of an Indiana Jones movie. Well, either that or the mask. Who could imagine what craziness would ensue if Jim Carrey put that Jinsha gold mask on his face? All of this is amazing, not just because of the intricate beauty and the detail, but the fact that all of this is left up to the imagination. Because there were no written records from the civilization, no one can confirm for sure what the significance of any of this actually is. After a day at Jinsha, I've become fascinated with this ancient Shu civilization. I just had to learn more. My girlfriend Grace informed me that there's another, even more thorough collection of Shu artifacts located 38 kilometers north of Chengdu in Guanghong City. So if you thought Jinsha was impressive, coming here to Sangxingui is excavating a whole new world. So this site was founded. Basically, a farmer was digging a ditch in 1929. And ever since then, people have been excavating thousands of relics here for almost a century. They've got this grand human figure, this life-size human statue that it is so intricate down to the carvings in its clothing. Many believe it used to be the center of an important sacrificial altar here. But I think the most intriguing aspect is that its hands form circles. Experts have a few different guesses for what it may have been holding all those years ago. The most exotic find of these two museums is the tree room. They've got these three wacky bronze trees standing just shy of four meters tall. This one here is actually the tallest and oldest bronze tree in the world. And again, the detail of it just blows my mind. I mean, it looks straight out of the catacombs of Winterfell from Game of Thrones. Quick side note, folks, if you're interested in checking out more hidden treasures from China, make sure to subscribe subscribe to this channel. And then there's the Hall of Masks, with masks in all varieties, some small, some the size of a car, even one with its eyes protruding out of its head. It was in this moment, staring into those oogly eyes, when the question really hit me. Could this have been an alien civilization? I mean, how in the world could this, or this, or this have been crafted from the hands of a homo sapien. Experts across the board believe that this was in fact a human civilization, but at the same time, no one can fully explain the origin of these relics. Many of them are unlike anything else that's been seen in China. At this point, I'm honestly not sure what to believe, so I'm turning to some of the locals to see what they think. Sanxingdui文化起源是源于古蜀时期的文明
，就近现代将近三千年的历史。其实最主要的三星堆的发掘呢，不仅仅是它是一个文物供人展览，它更多的是想通过文物去表达古蜀人对于自然的一种追求。就比如说成都的纹理标志，太阳神鸟标志嘛，一共有十二个齿轮，代表的是十二个月份；四只神鸟代表的是四季。它能够很明确的表示出古蜀人在对于天文学这一方面的一些了解，以及他们对于自然情况的一些运用。三星堆文化的起源，这个它跟就是中原文明，就是中国的黄河文明和就长江中下游文明有非常明确的联系，所以它属于中原文化和西南文化交汇的一个结果。它的起源一定是在中原文中中华文明的，但是它是比中原文明受到的外来影响会相对更。多一点，他曾经猜测过外星文化，<笑>因为有有很多东西看起来有有点不像是那个地球人的在在那个时代的一种科技或者什么，特别是它里面还有一个那个类似于一个方向盘一样的那个东西。你想在几千年前的话，怎么会有一个类似于汽车这样的方向盘这样的东西？所以就感觉这个东西很奇怪，而且这样的一个形状不仅仅出现在金沙啊，不仅出现三星堆，甚至在国外的一些文化里面。所以说，我我觉得很有。可能是来自非地球之呃外星的一个文明带过来的对，对，因为同时出现在不同的一个地方。我觉得更多可能是以前的祭祀文化，就是啊、呃、以前的那种天地崇拜，然后还有他们那些图腾，就是其他地方也有类似的这种图案啊。这些讲外星人的话，就是我不是非常相信，我更相信他是他是对来自于那种就是以前的祭祀文化。The sheer number of different interpretations on the Sangxing Dui Jinsha culture just goes to show. How perplexing these people and their relics are! It's truly a civilization unlike any other. When you think of a mysterious ancient civilization, you think of Mesopotamia or Egypt in the Middle East, the Aztecs or the Incas in South America. You probably wouldn't think of China as home to some exotic sacrificial civilization. But as time goes on, and I go deeper into exploring this vast country, it never ceases to continually fascinate and surprise me. I'll see y'all for the next great China adventure.